In this video, you will learn how to import a spreadsheet containing grades into Faculty Grade Entry. Please note that before attempting to import your spreadsheet, make certain it has the following columns required by Faculty Grade Entry. For final grades, ID, representing student UIN numbers, final grade, and last attended date. For midterm grades, ID and midterm grade are the only columns required. In both cases, you can have other columns, but faculty grade entry needs these specific columns for the import. Log into MyUIC as an existing portal user. Click on Academics on the menu bar and click the Teaching Submenu link. In the Teaching Links for Instructors portlet, click the link for Enter Grades using Faculty Grade Entry for the new grading module. When you enter the application, you are presented with a list of your courses open for grading. The grading type defaults to Final Grades. Click the Midterm tab to enter Midterm Grades. The page view can be expanded by clicking the arrow button in the middle of the page. Click on a section to grade. You must collapse the page view for status information. You can change the display order by clicking on the column headers. You can change the number of records displayed. The default view is 25 students per page. Click on Tools in the upper right corner, then pull down to Import. Click the Browse button on the Import Grades window. Find your spreadsheet, click on it, and click Open. Verify you have the correct spreadsheet and click Next. Remember, your spreadsheet must have these three columns, ID, final grade, and last attend date. For midterm grades, ID and midterm grade are the only columns required. In the preview file section, do not uncheck My Spreadsheet Has Headers. Only uncheck it if you have removed the headers from your spreadsheet. Click Next. In the Map Columns section, you should see green check marks for the student ID, final grade, and last attend date items. Map those three columns if they are not mapped on your spreadsheet. Click Next. Review the Import Information page. Error info will be listed at the bottom of the page. Click Download the Validation Report to see error information. You will not be able to correct the errors on this page. You will have to complete the import and then go back and manually correct the errors. Click the Import button. The Import Complete section details the number of grades successfully imported and the number of records with errors that did not get imported. Click Finished. You can now correct any errors or update any other grades that were imported. If you choose to make corrections on your spreadsheet and re-import it, only the updates will be imported into Faculty Grade Entry.